the rocket. Okay, Agent Tiny, we just broke into Dr. No Goodness' lair. Be very quiet. We don't want to alert anyone to our presence. That's better. It's amazing how this place looks nothing like the GTA headquarters. Eureka! I found it. Now let's get out of here. Hey boss. We got it. Agent Tiny and I will get this over to the lab. Now I got my system up and running. Let's take a look at some performance. To do this I'm going to use the Windows Experience Index. So click on Start. Right click on my computer and go to properties and then click on system rating is not available because I haven't run it yet. And then click on rate this computer. Now the system is going to perform a series of tests and give you a score on your overall system. So let's take a look at what kind of score I get with the two SSDs in RAID 0. So take a look at that, an overall score of 7.2, but look at my disk data transfer rate, 7.9. Keep in mind that a 7.9 is the highest score you can obtain using the Windows Experience Index. So you may be wondering how this compares to a regular 7200 RPM hard drive. And the answer is, it's way faster. On a regular 7200 RPM hard drive, I got a score of 5.9 on the same exact system. But not only that, just the system didn't boot up as quickly, programs were not as quick to load, and the system just was not as responsive as it was with the two Intel SSDs in RAID 0. Boss, the world knows now how to set up their raids. Mission accomplished. But who at EBGA is working with Dr. No Goodnick? <laughs>